Hello everybody, Greg Stager here, your K-12 tech guy, with a quick video to show you how you can create your own custom shortcuts with Microsoft Word 2013. Now, this is real handy for you when you want to uh, just shorten the length of time it takes to put things that you maybe have to do lots of keystrokes with, uh, to do some special formatting, uh, or things like that. And this can really shorten your time. Uh, one example might be typing up an address block, for example. So let's do that. Um, you might want to type K12 Tech Guy. And let's say I'm at 123 Main Street, and that's in some city, USA, and we're at 12345 is the zip code. Now, let's see, I want that to be, uh, I want that to be a little bit bigger, and I want that to be italicized, and I want it to be red. Okay, so that takes, it takes a while to do all that. Now what if we could just do that in a few keystrokes and it would be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just highlight the text on the screen and leave it highlighted. And I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to go down to Options and then I'm going to go to Proofing and select Autocorrect Options. This little box right here. Now you can see what I had highlighted on the screen is pre-populated here in this box. And I'm just going to choose what I want to type to replace all that with. I'm just going to type backslash ADD for address. I don't want to put just ADD because, well, in my typing I might want to actually just put the word add without it changing. So I put the backslash in there because this isn't going to be something that's typically written in any kind of normal typing. And I'm going to choose add. And it puts this right in here for me. And I'm going to choose OK. And I'm going to hit OK. I come back out to my document. Now, let, let's just go ahead and um, control Z everything back to normal here. And so I've got a blank thing. And I, let's say I'm just typing here is my address. And now I'm going to type backslash ADD. Oh, look at that. And it just pops it right in there for me so that I don't have to go through all of the extra typing, I don't have to do all the special formatting things, and then I can continue typing normally. And so, you know, think about the, the uses for this in your own case. You can create small shortcuts even for, um, you know, just typing uh, abbreviations of some kind. You got your own custom abbreviation. Maybe I want to put KTG and have that automatically just change to K12 Tech Guy and just plain old black letters. Um, but there's all kinds of different things that you might use and you'll have to think of your own context. But hopefully this was at least helpful for you in being able to save some time using this particular tool. Well thanks so much. Have an awesome day.